So when you use the rain, you're gonna hit all of them like this. You can see the animation of the spear change. And that's how you're gonna get a lot of a spear proficiency. Hello everyone, my name is Hossein, but you can call me Darkat. Welcome back to another tutorial video from Myths of Empire. In this video, I'm gonna explain you how you can upgrade your efficiency on weapons pretty fast. So we have 100 shield, 200 polymer and stuff like that. So you can upgrade this stuff pretty fast in no time. So make sure you watch the video till the end to realize how you can upgrade this efficiency super quick. So the first way you can do this efficiency on your weapons is to make some torture rack and put some enlightened pieces on it. Then you can hit them and it's gonna give you, if you put on this uh, setting here, it tells you how much XP you get and how many levels. So I don't recommend to use a high level spears like this. You make sure you make these harpoons here on your inventory. If you want to, for example, do your spear to do the least damage you can. And if you do it on the torture rack, you're gonna upgrade recruitment as well. But I don't recommend this because it's a slower than the way we're gonna explain you later. So I'm gonna explain the better way now. You're gonna need some uh, cart with horses and a prison on top. You're gonna need a camp and a stronghold to have a high level NPCs plus 45, 50 level. So you're gonna catch only a light ones. Do not catch this level 43, for example, because you can you cannot see the yellow bar on his HP. So that means this is not a really good NPC. So you're gonna keep look for a, a light one, and you're gonna tame it uh, with this uh, truncheon. So you're gonna hit him till uh, he's low, and you're gonna hit him with truncheon, like this one. So you can see we find uh, a light. Oh, that's 51 also. Good to catch them, but we catch a lot of uh, light ones. That if you catch this uh, 50 mega boss, he not gonna lose so much HP, so the others gonna die. So it's better to catch only a light ones. So let let us catch it. Uh, bring him back. We call like towards this. Yeah. So you can also build some traps for them like this if you want, and if you don't have the power to deal damage to them. But I think we are good even without trap. Just gonna do some headshots. 340 damage only. So let's put it on trap to also show the trap. So oh, this guy is a smart guy. Come here. Go in. Go in, please. Go in. Nice. So you can build the foundation, one uh, ceiling open in the middle and the stairs, and then you can just hit him like this. This is like a trap to damage the NPC pretty fast, and you don't get hit at all. So you need to be careful when the NPC is low HP. So you can use a truncheon now on the bottom and you just hit him but make sure you don't hit it more than once so why I cannot hit him probably oh okay from here make sure you don't hit him so many times because if you hit it twice he gonna die okay he's knocked so now you're gonna hold E and capture the NPC like this and you're gonna go to the horses and put this NPC on the prison so I'm we're gonna take two of these trolls and bring them to base so you can see the actual trap that we made for increasing your weapon skills a lot more faster so let's go so actually when you knock the npcs and they are in the prison like this make sure they don't have weapon on them so you can access the troll in inventory you're gonna take their weapons out and arrows out so you're gonna leave only one bow on them so keep this in mind at the end of the video, I'm gonna explain you why. So we are in the base now, we are on the location to move the troll. All you need to do is to now take the troll out of the, the vog. Oh, this is not my troll, okay. So you need to take the troll that you put in the prison. You cannot take the other troll your friend did. So I'm gonna release this guy by putting on this icon here. He's released now. And make sure you pick him up immediately before he wake up. So make sure you remove his weapon and put a bow without arrows on him. You're gonna need to make a prison like this. So the the idea of this trap gonna be you're gonna make a trap you're gonna make a prison on the corner. The the way he's facing you like this, the door is here. They're gonna the troll gonna release on the left side where all these trolls are. So you're gonna spam some chest in front, front of the cage. You leave a space on the left side and you cl close the left side with like a ceiling and a stairs 
and you can see all these trolls standing here they have no weapon they have only bows without arrow they just staring at you so all you need to do is to just go to the marker of your base and just bless yourself quickly so you can see the marker that you have for the boundary marker you go on the blessing and you can bless pre player proficiency gain two times so you're gonna get a lot of uh, proficiency boost then you're gonna go on the top and one more trick that i need to teach you before you before we end up this uh, tutorial video you're gonna make these harpoons of course i explained that but the idea from the harpoon is that i cannot hit them from here you can see i'm hitting the box so all you need to do is to use one of these horse reins this one any rein it doesn't need to be premium so when you use the rein you're gonna hit all of them like this you can see the animation of the spear change and that's how you're gonna get a lot of a spear proficiency or all the other weapons you can use the other weapons as well so i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial in this episode of myths of empire thank you guys for watching if you have any other question make sure you put down below in the comments